a pheno vlog! Yay! Oh my goodness me, we got here this morning and it is amazing. Can you hear how loud those crickets are? I, you might actually not even be able to hear me because of how loud those crickets are, but it's just literally full of greenery. It's so beautiful. Um, so we got here this morning, we set off at half two a.m. So we literally had like one hour sleep. Um, went to Manchester Airport, got in at like nine o'clock. I think it was, or quarter to ten. Was it nine or ten? Not ten. And then we got the taxi here. Adam thought it was a 15 minute transfer. So like, great, so short. But it wasn't. It was a 50 minute transfer. But it was actually really nice. Like, the, basically the entire of the transfer was um, next to the coast. So it was all driving through loads of pretty locations. It was really lovely drive. Um, we're at our hotel now. We've just been in to Portofino for some lunch. Um, I had a glass of wine. It was lovely. And now we're back at our hotel just sunbathing. So our hotel is, I don't know if you can see, up there. Can you see that yellow building? That's our hotel. And it overlooks this. I mean, oh my goodness me, what a view. And then it has all these like sun lounges that you can lie on. Here is Adam sunbathing. A Adam, your shorts match the towel. They are literally the same. So yeah, thank you so much for clicking on the vlog today and I hope you enjoy it. I'm really excited about this holiday so I can't wait to share it with you all and bring you all along. Just come up to the room, put my hair up, just put this shirt on and just freshened up a bit. My phone died and I just thought, I'll come up whilst Adam's downstairs still sunbathing so I can give you a quick room tour. We've literally been here a matter of hours, haven't even slept in the bed yet and the room is already trashed. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. But I'm going to give you a quick room tour of the hotel. So this is called Hotel Piccolo. Um, we requested, we booked it through booking.com, I think. I'll check with Adam because he booked it um, and we requested to have like a sea review room and when we got here the room was ready way before check-in time and they'd given us a sea view room. I mean wow. Look at this. That is the views from our hotel room. I am just at Absolutely obsessed, and that's where Adam is down there sunbathing, where you would have seen before. And Portofino Town, we just literally walk up these private steps, and um, because that's the restaurant there is for the hotel. But there's some private steps. If you can see them walking there, it takes you on like a little private windy path through the trees and down into the square on the other side. Um, so yes, they gave us a kindly gave us that, which buzzing about so thank you Adam for requesting that on booking.com and um, they must have just had one free I did, we did it's just a standard room they did have um different types of rooms you could pick like obviously different rated ones we just literally went for the cheapest standard room um obviously these rooms are all really expensive because they're in Portofino so for this kind of room normally if it was like in Spain it would be a lot less but it's the location that you're paying for. However, it's clean, it's nice, it's just everything we need. Like, we're barely gonna be in here. Um, but the view makes it incredible. So this is the bed. As you can see, I've already kind of thrown my things on it. Um, this is the bed, just really basic, basically. And then we've got like telly, dressing table, Adam's wardrobe, my wardrobe, which is already looking a bit of a mess although i have hung my things up um and then we've got this really big like seating area bit so we've got like sofa full length mirror which is really important for the outfits and then the bathroom in here which again is just pretty standard but nice marble really cute shower's actually really good um, I had a shower earlier and so did Adam when we got off the plane to get rid of plane germs and it's really powerful um, and it was nice actually. So yeah, it's really cute. Like I would recommend if you want to come to Portofino, um, this hotel is one of the most reasonably priced ones we found um, and I would say that it's definitely worth the money, like the location's amazing, the fact you get to sunbathe um, and like have sun lounges is really really good because you can't really get a hotel with a pool in Portofino. That's not really the type of place it is. So you have to 
um, work really hard to try and find a hotel that even has sun lounges next to a private beach like this one has the beach has the sun lounges so i would really recommend that and that is kind of why we're only doing four days here and doing the last three days like i said at the other hotel because the other hotel is on a beach so that's where we're going to have more of like the beachy part of the holiday because we me and adam love a beach we love like lying on the sun like like going into the sea like that's our favorite thing whereas this part is more we can still luckily do that because we have the lounges but it's also going to be more exploring like portobino itself so that's the room tour so i'm going to go back down and join adam now i'm going to leave my camera on charge and i'll catch up with you again later adam looking unreal in his toweling set from reese is it reese yep this is my oh Darn, they can't see my outfit. This is my outfit. It is the Club London dress, which I tried on in the Best Friends Rate Night outfit video. And... Ben, I'm also, why are you going out dressed as a towel? What, you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I like the towel and set. Yeah, Bernie doesn't know. <laughs> and, yeah, this is my little dress for tonight. I'm not bringing the camera along tonight, unfortunately, guys, because you don't fit in the bag. But I will um, do a couple of videos on my phone um, as we're walking, just so you can see the atmosphere and then I'll add them in. Come on, I'm starving. Right, let's go. Bye, guys. That's our hotel there, and that one up there is called Splendid, and we're going there for um, some lunch one day. Really good. How gorgeous. Yay, today is our second day for our first morning here. And we've just been for breakfast down in the hotel and it's actually really nice. I had the nicest juice ever in the world. It was orange and lemon and carrot all mixed together. Like obviously it was a juice, it had been juiced. And it was amazing, like it was so good. So we had a lovely little breakfast and we've just come back up to the room and we're about to leave. I'm gonna have to give a really quick talk because we need to go but it is our boat day today we're so excited we've booked a boat so it's a full day i think it's like 10 till 6 is it get back at 6 and we like go around the island explore go for take they take us to like a restaurant that you can only get to by boat for lunch so we're really really excited so i've just got on this little um outfit from nasty gal i'll show you in the mirror but it's a little bit darker over here um this is it if you can kind of see and it comes with like a matching skirt so when i'm on the boat i can take this dress off and just wear the matching skirt with a bikini and adam looks amazing he's got his i'll come into the light adam for the so i can show he's wearing this new top which is so nice where's it from Reese. and his re shorts and yeah we're ready to go so i'm gonna bring you along but i'll probably have to keep you in the bag most of the day so that I don't drop you in the ocean. Future me here, future fiance cat. Um, but 
I am just popping in on the video because I realised that when I filmed all the boat day content, well, I didn't really film, that's the thing, because after I got engaged, I literally just was in so much shock and so happy that I didn't pick up the camera, I didn't do any explanation, so the next few kind of clips are really chaotic and probably don't make any sense, so I thought I would just pop myself in here with a little explanation and then you can go straight back to it, and I'm really sorry that this whole vlog is so choppy and changey, but I just kept forgetting to pick up the camera because I was having such a good time and obviously I'm engaged. I haven't actually got the ring on right now, guys, because I've just put it in the safe. Um, because I'm about to go back sunbathing. We're in our second hotel right now, but we're not when you are watching this at the part of the video you're at. Um, but yeah, so basically I obviously didn't know it was gonna happen. I was in so much shock, which you'll have probably seen by my shaking on the video. Like I, I am surprised I didn't capsize and go overboard because I was in so much shock and then I was so happy I was literally so overwhelmed with emotion, literally crying hysterically. Then I saw the ring and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the best ring I've ever seen, I can't believe it. And it was just, everything was just too much and it was just so perfect and amazing. Um, there's a little story to go with it which I'll really quickly wish you through now so that the next couple of clips make sense. But basically we were meant to be going to, um, we'd already We'd always booked this boat day, so Adam had booked it. We go on a boat day most holidays because they're our favourite days. Both of us love them so much. So it wasn't out the ordinary that Adam had booked a boat day. Um, but what he'd planned in his head is that on this boat day, the captain of the boat had, like, the owner of the boat company had said to us, right, we'll book you this restaurant that you can only access by boat. Um, and you can moor up outside it, swim up, swim first and then we'll take you to the restaurant so this was pre-arranged before the day so adam in his head had thought right i'm going to propose a bit outside of this restaurant in this little bay before we go to lunch obviously i was unaware of this so we were sailing around and then we pulled up in this bay but it was really rough for some reason and the coast guard rang our captain she was called brie immediately and basically said um you know you can't stay here it's too rough like it's not not today's not the day so Brie was like to us oh guys I'm really sorry but like we can't stay here today we're gonna have to have a change of plan so in, that was Adam's plan out the window then I obviously wasn't faced I was like yeah no problem at all to be fair Adam was like yeah whatever like what can you do so she was like I know this bay around the corner it's just outside of the fishing town called Camogli, um, I think that's how you say it, and she was like, I know the water will be really still and clear there, so we were like, yeah, fine, she said, I'm going to have to try and change restaurant booking to this one that I really like in Camogli, so uh, do, is that okay? And, and we were like, yeah, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Anyway, so we drove on, like, down the coast to this town of Camogli, pulled up outside this bay, it was beautiful, clear water, so Adam was like, wrote in a note in his phone, and showed it to Brie saying, I'm going to ask you to take a picture, but actually video it, because I'm going to propose, which obviously I didn't know, but I said to Adam, I need to get in the water immediately, like I'm too hot, and he said, well, let's get our picture first, and I was like, oh yeah, great, because otherwise my hair would be ruined for the photo. So I was like, yeah, great, so he took his phone to Brie, showed her that note, which obviously I didn't know, was stood up, I was going, she was going to say cheese, and I was like, cheese, having the photo, and then obviously it happened, which is the video you've seen, I was so shocked, and then we went to our restaurant booking, which was obviously not where we'd booked to go to the summer place it was in Camogli and it was the most amazing meal ever like I don't even know what we ordered it's like this it, the place is so local like not touristy at all just an absolutely beautiful place and you know when you just think it's fate because it just worked out so perfect we had this amazing fish this amazing dessert we had wine it was gorgeous and then outside of the restaurant there was this little old lady who had um this shop and we bought a painting from her that she just finished that morning so she finished painting it of Camogli and the bay where we got engaged she finished it whilst we were getting engaged so we bought it off her as a souvenir in the frame and as a thank you she then bought us a love heart to put on the um the love heart wall and we wrote our names and you know when you just think oh my gosh like none of this would have happened if the sea was still enough to go into our original spot so the next couple of clips some are filmed on my phone because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just so overwhelmed in the moment. So some are filmed on the phone, some are filmed on the camera. So I'll insert them now, but these are kind of snippets of that whole day. So you, 
um, understand what it is I've just been talking about. But basically, I needed to give you that preface, otherwise none of this would have made sense. Um, so yeah, that was that. So thank you so much for all your messages and kind words, guys, over on um, social media. I'm just literally been overwhelmed. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. And sorry it's so choppy and changey. Bye. Hi guys, so this is Kamogli. We've just come here off the boat for lunch and it is absolutely unbelievable. We've just had the most perfect meal, some fresh fish, and now we're here just having a little walk around before we get back on the boat and it is literally stunning. Like, I really recommend coming here to have a little look. That restaurant looks really cute as well. I don't know what it's called. It's not where we went. We went one just in the harbour and it was beautiful. Yeah, still absolutely gorgeous. We bought a little painting because oh my god! This is the most amazing place. It's so Italian. Although Adam did just stand in chewing gum, <laughs> which he's not impressed about, but we've managed to pick it off his shoe. But wow. Houses literally look like they're made from cardboard and I keep saying it but I can't cope like and what I mean by that is they just like literally look painted and perfect like they're actually not even real but they're real oh my gosh guys it's just beautiful I'm so happy so we've just been swimming in the sea off our boat We've just come to this private little, she was showing Adam, what, did she tell you about this? She was showing Adam these pictures, our captain, who's driving the boat of this little private bar that you can't see from where our boat was, where Adam proposed. And there's like a bar behind the rock. Um, and she was like, do you want to go? Because you can go if you want. And we've come. And it is so gorgeous. So this is it. It's like, this is the sea. And then it's covered by this rock so you can't actually see the bar. Oh, thank you. And it's just this private little bar and look, look at the rocks that are surrounding it. And it is so beautiful. It's a little swing. Oh, it's gorgeous. I've just got a Prosecco. And has got a beer. <gasps> First crisp as a fiance. Oh, please. <laughs> Great first crisp as a fiance. I keep saying this about everything now. I just went for a meal. Um, come, come, Maggie. Come, Maggie. Come, Ogly. Come, Ogly. And I was like, first glass of wine as a fiance. First holding cutlery as a fiance. We've just had our prosecco and drinks and we've come up for a walk, so I thought I'd show it you from how it looks up here. This is it. So when you're at sea, you can't see it because obviously it's hidden by all these rocks. So I am so out of breath from this steep hill and this heat. Oh my gosh, there's our little boat, that black one there. Adam is there. And these are the steps. Oh my gosh, first walk on steps as a fiance. <laughs> first steps as a fiance. Wow. Those crickets are a joke though, where even are they? There's our boat now. Yeah. That's our little boat for today. Just having the best day ever, obviously. But also, without that, it would have even been the best day ever. It's so hot though, and I'm out of breath. And it's just beautiful. Ow! Careful. It's okay. It was my first trip as a fiance. It's 
that for our first meal. First meal engaged. Ah! We're not fish here now. I don't know, I don't think you eat the legs. But to be honest, I have no idea. Yeah. I'll ask my mum. <laughs> we have to ask my mum because we actually don't know how he eats fish. We just ordered an apple pie and Adam has never ever liked an apple pie. And when I said apple pie, he was like, that'll be disgusting. Just made him try it and now he's eating the entire thing before I even get a chance. <clears throat> I knew he'd like it as well. <laughs> Good morning guys, we're off on a walk today. We've been sunbathing all morning. First time sunbathing as a fiance. And it's been absolutely beautiful. We've just been down there in our little favorite spot. Um, but it was quite overcast this morning, so we decided that we'd go on a little walk today, although now the sun has come out. Oh my gosh, Adam, that massive boat is back. Or a different one. Um, and we said we'd go on this little walk because you can walk up to this like lighthouse, castle thing not really sure what it is and on the way you can see that the villas of where dolce and gabbana live um in their villas so we're going to do this walk although i'm a bit concerned about the air uh, heat is that the same oh that's lucky lady have we seen that one no all oh, right wow look at this shit guys is that an english great british flag on I yeah i wonder who the lucky lady is who owns it um, so it's probably going to be a very hot and sweaty hike, but it's my first hike as a fiance. I'm not really dressed for the occasion, I didn't really bring any walking things, so I'm just going to go flip flops, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And we can get a drink when we get up there. Adam's sorted with his trainers, so at least he'll be, he'll be ready for the walk. So yeah, it's two o'clock, so we're going to go and do that. Hopefully get a drink when we get up there at the little like, it's like a private drink place looking over the sea, which can only access by this hike, so... I say hike, I don't know if it's going to be a hike, it could just be a walk, although it is very uphill and I am concerned about it, but we will see how we go. Just walked up the hill, Portofino goes down there, look at the view, and we've arrived at the first little thing we wanted to see, which is this little church I'll spin around. Wow. Look at the view. Insane. Dominico's villa, we think. The lady on the boat told us yesterday that these are the villas of um, Dolce & Gabbana. So we're just trying to see which one is which, but we think that one is um, one of them. But can't be too sure. That's the other one, we think. That's the door. That's the door, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. And then this is the villa up here, we think from work because we were on a boat down there yesterday and she pointed it out to us. I'm hoping around this corner is the Lighthouse Cafe restaurant. Wow. Look at these views darling. You can see the lighthouse. Yay. which came with a drink. Adam's got a milkshake. What's it like? Yay! We just got back from um, our walk and our lunch and I had a glass of Prosecco up on the top of the lighthouse and a glass of Prosecco for lunch and I am so full and tired. You know when you've had like a couple of drinks the sun hits you and you've got so full and tired. 
So we've just come back to do some sunbathing, although the sun is basically gone in now because it's like half past five, but just it's hot, so just chilling. I'm gonna read my book and Adam's going for a swim. Just had a cappuccino and I'm gonna go for a swim in a minute as well, but we're going one at a time. So I said I'd watch Adam swim. He's gonna swim. Where is he? Oh, he's there. I can see him coming. Where is he? There he is. I told him to put his shoes on that mini rock there so I could keep an eye on them. Swim, he said he's gonna swim all the way out to the yellow thing. The little floater to stop the boats coming in. Look at that yacht, wow. It's got all the toys out. It has like a trampoline, has some inflatables. It looks unreal to be fair. This is his first swim as a Beyonce. Ooh, ooh. I think that's actually probably further than it looks, you know. Hi guys, we have not vlogged tonight, but we're just on our walk back from Portofino on the little path. I'm just ahead of me. We went to this restaurant and it was so nice and I am definitely in my fish era now, I'm a fiance, because I definitely didn't like fish before, but today I've had octopus to start, which was amazing, and then snapper, so who knew? And tomorrow morning, we've just been discussing what we're going to do, and tomorrow morning we're going to get, we're going to get up early, um, because we're going up here for lunch to this hotel up here, if you can see like all the lights. And that literally is gonna be unbelievable. It's it's known for being a really, really amazing hotel. So we're going there for lunch and we're gonna get up early because there's this man at our hotel and he gets the best sun lounger on the cliff every single day in this like oval bit that overlooks the um overlooks the sea and tomorrow we're getting up at seven so we can get the sun lounger although Adam thinks we're definitely not gonna get up for that time but I am determined so I'll see you there at seven fingers crossed good morning guys I didn't get the bed we <laughs> my alarms went off I must have snoozed them and then Adam like tapped me on the shoulder and was like darling we've slept in and I was like oh and the first thing I did is open the window and the bloody towels were already on the beds over there I can't believe it this is where I wanted to go I wanted to go to this little circle bit here because we have two beds on and you get the morning sun and it's amazing anyway we're on these beds which again gets the morning sun and the view is still insane so there's Adam going for a swim wow the sea is really glistening today days since I um, was vlogging we had some really nice meals I'm not sure what was the last thing I vlogged but we went out for some really nice meals and so last night we actually came to this part of the um, of Portofino which is called Paraggi it's a slightly different place to Portofino it's just around the corner and we've just checked into our new hotel and it's lovely I brought my flowers with me and they very kindly put them in a vase which is so nice the new room and it is so nice how cute this is all the little personalized touches even the hotels per uh, the towels are personalized so nice we've just been sunbathing on the beach had some steak for lunch and i am so full now i really need to stop eating bread because i'm actually turning into a bread roll and i don't actually get on with bread very well i was gluten free for quite a few years because i had really bad stomachs and bread just did not agree with me. I was never like allergic, but I was intolerant. And this holiday I've eaten my weight in bread and I'm definitely gonna pay for it when we get home. I'm probably gonna be in agony for about six months. So I really need to stop, but the bread and the olive oil is amazing. So we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Gonna go to the beach, gonna sunbathe. And then tonight we're going out for a meal at a restaurant that Adam's booked, which is called what? Uh, Langosteria, Langosteria, which is literally just like two doors up from this hotel on the little bay. So I'm really excited and I can't believe that we only have three days left. Just some bathing at our new hotel and wearing this really cute um, purple sparkly bikini from Princess Poetry, I absolutely love. I'm on my second book now. 
Adam Scott readers, and this is the beer. <laughs> Champagne celebrations tonight, and we're at this unbelievable restaurant. Unreal. Some starters to share. We've got tempura something and some squid and a spicy sauce and a little vinaigrette and it looks insane. Wow. So what have we got? What have we got? That's the, that is the aubergine parmesan thing which I'm buzzing for. Let's cut in. Then we've got the veg, asparagus, crisps, not really sure why they bought the crisps. And then we've got Chateau Brion fish, which my brother tells me is amazing, so we went for it. That looks well good, that ad. Desserts. Chocolate. Don't know what kind of chocolate, but looks unreal. Are you going to do the taste test? Good. Yeah. <laughs> It's the second to last night and I'm so sad about it. I'm just waiting for my hair to cool down to brush it out. And I'm in the robe, which I've managed to get makeup all down. Hope they don't mind. But we're about to go out. We're having sushi tonight. Yay, so excited for sushi. I actually can't wait. And do you know what I'm really good for is that I cannot bring these flowers home. I'm really sad about that. They're gonna have to stay here, but hopefully one of the hotel um, workers will take them home and make use of them because they're really thriving. Like they're, they're in their fresh and prime. Ready? Went for this dress, which I'm not a massive fan of, but it's fine. It matches Adam. Wow. Look at the sushi, guys. So we've got shrimp. I think that was shrimp again. Is that prawn, that one? Is that one prawn? And then this one might be tuna. And look at the setting. Look at that sea. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Guys, I cannot believe it. It's the last day. I'm so sad. Literally don't want to go home at all. Just got on my little in the style cohort today. Well, I did have the top on, but I took it off. I've been sunbathing this morning. Just come back up to the room to put my ring in the safe because we're going to go paddle boarding and just have some fun on the beach. So I wanted to get rid of it last night. And I'm in my best friend's favourite outfit that I brought, which is this cute little tomato skirt. It's very Italian, so I'm very glad I've had the chance to wear it. And I've got this little crop on with it and I have burnt horrendously today. Really, really bad, but I'm hoping in the white top it passes off as a tan. But I'm concerned because we're walking all the way into um, Portofino. So I have to be able to move. It's like a 20 minute walk up steps and the skirt is very restrictive. It's going to be like walking with a resistance band on. but. It's got to be done because it's the last night and it's my only outfit that I haven't worn yet. We got to our restaurant and the sea is so rough today because it has been windy all day that they have taken my shoes off and he's given me a little bench to put my salmon. Adam's on the muscles, what are they like, darling? Oh my gosh. Water is aggressive. I'm on the octopus. Hair is crazying. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, guys, the wind has really picked up. I'm not sure if you can see. But it's always blowing out of the pot. The waves are getting stronger. I've had to get this cute shawl on. 
Sad times, guys. Going to have to end the vlog now. Ads and I are walking back from our meal in Portofino, and we go home at 6:30 a.m. So we're going to end the vlog here. Adam, have you had the best holiday? Unbelievable scenes. It's been absolutely amazing. So I hope you've really enjoyed the vlog. I'm so sorry about it being so dark. I really don't know how to get the flash to work on this camera, even though I've just put the flash button up. But here's a street lamp to blind us all out. Um, but yeah, we've had the best time ever. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed the vlog of Portofino. I will try and link in the description as many of the different restaurants and places we went in case you want to go. Um, but what were our favourites, Ad? Lagosteria. Lagosteria, which is in Paraji, which you can walk to, which is where our second hotel is at, which is where we're walking now. It's like a 15 minute walk from Portofino, like central Portofino, where our first hotel was. Um, but Lagosteria, they're actually bringing one out in London, which we're really excited for, because it means we can go and visit it. So that was so good, right? And in Portofino, what was it called? The one we've been to twice. Oh, magazine. And Oh, magazine it was really good. And what was that one across the way? And that one where it was raining? Just have to Google it. Yeah, I can't remember. But I'll try and link as many as I can down in the description below so you can have a little look at them if you're ever going to venture to Portofino or Paraji. But yeah, it's been amazing. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're all okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye again. Bye! <laughs>